Hello and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU4 Mario Nostrum playing as Italy. I think we can safely declare war on Austria and I don't think it's going to call in Muscovy or Sweden. And this might be... Oh wait, they're in a war now. Attacker against... Salzburg declared war on... Augsburg. That's this guy. They're about to win anyway. Whatever, they're distracted. We can handle it. Yeah, I, I think we just... I think we kill him. I think we do. Let's fabricate our last claim. What is this other one we could claim? This one? Who are you? 14 development. Hmm. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll claim Liens for the time being. No need to increase my borders with France. That'll just make things complicated. Thank you. Uh, Trebizond. Put my claim against Civis. And I don't care about you anymore. Kandar. I need 30? Oh, that's Tlemcen. I'm sorry, I don't have a spy against them. Uh, Tlemcen. Anaba? Or something else? Probably this one. What else could I claim? Oh, this one. I thought I had a... I do not have a claim against this, never mind. Yeah, no, we'll put a claim against, uh, Tamert Lek Bayel, or whatever. Thank you. That will give me a justification of war, so that once I've taken territory from Austria, I can immediately declare war, and so long as I'm at war, I don't think Bohemia can demand any unlawful territory, which would be good. Alright. We do not need to continue improving relations with Sicily. Oh, uh, looks like Sicily also had some claims. Okay. That's fine. So yeah, Bohemia won't join. We'll have to fight a whole bunch of other people, but we're far stronger than all of them. I think we can handle it. We're going to say conquer Crane. Declare the war. Move in ASAP, thank you kindly. Are we fighting Ravensburg? We are. Let's see if we can't stomp them immediately. Uh, let's see. So who am I fighting? Not Sweden or Muscovy. Which is what I was worried about initially, so that's good. Alright. Let's go move in against uh, Kandar. The Karaman Separatists did not fire. And it looks like they're not going to fire. So that's fine. Let's take some Highlands before they get into a defensive position. They're the Drylands right now. So we're at war with a lot of people. Is what you're trying to tell me. I think we can push Kandar out. Once we do that, we'll free up some troops. We can move them over here. And then we have to fight a lot of Germany, basically. Moonster is a big threat. Oh, we found some of Austria's army, at least part of it. Oh crap, they're jumping in on this really quick. I guess I forgot... Wait, I'm fighting Salzburg? I am fighting Salzburg. Shoot, I forgot about them. Okay, this may be a bad fight in the woods, too. Yeah, we're gonna retreat. Uh, I'm gonna collect... I'm gonna... Oh, oh my god, what? A year of 50% taxes or 110 ducats. I will I will take the tax revenue. Thank you. Uh, okay, let's retreat to Trent as soon as that's available. When can I retreat? Oh my gosh, in five days. Ouch. Terrible fight. Was not expecting them to dogpile me quite as much as they did. Let's grab the mountains. Uh, I need to make sure I get into Tyrol. I do not want them taking mountains. That's the dangerous part. We can handle that. Okay. Move on Vienna. This army needs to come over here. Let's see if we can't take the hills. Hmm. I'm going to slow down to speed 3 for this war because this is going to be a big one. I suspect. Moving around around Milan. If I can get to Brescia before they do... Then that would be a good defensive position. If they take part of Switzerland, this is not a big deal. If they do siege down Milan, I can fight them in farmlands. Looks like uh, France has a new emperor of age. Okay. Somewhat concerning, but not surprising. Okay, looks safe. I'm not committing to anything too crazy. We can get over here. I'd love to take this fort. That's a defensive position as well. But they have a big stack of troops. My vassals are starting to stack up on me. Okay, good, good. 
We're working on their capital. So pay attention for any large movement of troops. If I see 50,000 troops heading this way, it means they're going for Vienna. Salzburg has Provence, uh, accepted peace with Provence. Okay. You guys are going to go to Milan, it looks like. So if I move here, we can take the mountains and cut you off. Maybe, if he sends 9,000 troops here, they arrive on the 16th. No, those guys are arriving in Memmingen. The 21st and the 23rd, I'd arrive on the 19th. I'm going to double down on this. Send the leader, grab the mountains. I'm going to hold this and trap this army back. I think they're going to try to dogpile, but I'm going to have a bunch of troops. Wait, combat width will be what? Combat width minus 50%. This is going to be quite a slog. But I definitely want the general over here. And they're going to get some minus dice rolls. So let's take the defensive terrain here. And if we need to pull back, we will. Okay, they are fighting us. Okay. So they have minus two to all their rolls, but they have a fantastic general. Oh my god. And here come some troops. This is concerning. This is a really, really wide front to be fighting. I don't like it. <laughs> I am not a fan of this. They have such an outrageously good general. Hmm. Let's convert some more territory. How are we looking down in Kandar? Pretty good. Let's jump on them. I need to free up all of my troops. This is going to take everything I've got. Pretty sure. Potentially an ill-advised war, I admit it. Uh, if I sacrifice these mountains to take these mountains, that's fine. I can crush this two stack without even fighting. Well, take it back, now it's four. Okay. And it's gonna be six. Now I'm gonna be fighting in the mountains with no leader. This is not good. Okay, we got this. Let's jump over here and try to scare them off. Nope. You're trying to make a move on this guy. Okay. I'm going to cut off your reinforcements. See if that will work out for us. We did win this fight. Okay. Split up. Take Tyrol back. They're trying to reinforce in the mountains. I don't know if I can win this fight before they get back. Afterwards, reinforce, please. Insta squish. Okay, now we are fighting in the mountains, which is what I exactly did not want. So we should retreat. And we're going to do exactly that. Okay. Iraq. They're fighting. Don't care. Let's reinforce on this army. Can I get the general in charge here, please? I can. Let's get over here. Kandar is dead. Now we've reinforced... Vienna is farmland, so not defensive territory, which makes me sad. Let's go and stack wipe Kandar. We'll free up these troops. Okay. This is going to be a very costly war, isn't it? Yes, it is. Very, very, very costly. So many forts in Ravensburg. Jeez. Their general is just so outrageously good. It's too much. I can't handle their general. Okay, we need to retreat. Back out. Took a lot of losses there. Go back to Lienz. If they want to waste their time sieging down a fort, so be it. But I need to get my armies together in the mountains. Oh, come on! Why'd you get instantly... Okay. That's bullcrap. I told all of you to retreat. Why did half the army get stuck? I don't know, but I'm afraid I'm about to lose this army. When can I retreat? June 14th. Okay, retreat please. Thank you. I don't know what just happened there. That was weird. Half the army did not back out what they were supposed to. Okay. Ravensburg for some reason is trying to sit on the lawn. I don't know why, but they are. Go crush that. Yeah, look how many troops they've got. Jeez! 
This war is shockingly even. Now, I have a ton of cannons. They should not be able to beat me like this. And yet... And yet... They're okay. I... I don't really understand why. It's because they're general, that's why. Let's try hiring a new one. I need a good general. I need to, I need to counter that. My god, why? Bullcrap. Terrible leaders. Ah, <sighs> that was my Hail Mary moment right there. Alright, let's back out into Trent, into the mountains. Reinforce. Don't pick unfavorable engagements here. Just gradually start moving on Ravensburg. Try to knock out some allies. Would love to take down Salzburg. Those are also mountains. They would engage on me, almost certainly, but I would at least have the defensive terrain and some reinforcing armies. Go to the ends. If I can hold this core area, that's some important forts and a capital, and all defensive terrain, all able to reinforce each other pretty easily. That's a good thing, and they have to waste a lot of time fighting here. Are they about to make a move on Salzburg? I feel like they're moving that direction. But if I can get there first, that's the defensive terrain. I can whittle them down. Eventually, I can. Alright, they took Crane back. I don't care. Let's grab these 10,000 troops. Let's move toward the fort behind Bosnia. Don't expose them. Just move them in that direction. Okay. Here's another army. Ravensburg and Salzburg. Making a move down toward Milan, most likely. Okay, we have... A Siege of Salzburg beginning. You have Siege Value. We should switch them out. Get these armies up to the ends. All in a nice reinforcing area. We're going to be using up a lot of our manpower. Especially in places like this, which we can't reinforce. But, we do have our vassals here. So I've got 17,000 troops of my own. They've got a whole bunch more that are sitting here causing attrition for no good reason. Idiots. Morons. Buffoons. But whatever. Alright, they are moving on Milan. That was to be expected. But as long as they're uh, tied up in the farmlands, I could engage them. And at least I won't have the nasty defensive penalties. Okay. These armies are together. This army is too big. I'm going to switch. Shuffle balance. Trade generals out for the siege value. They're not making a move on me. That's good. I am hoping that they're going to go after, let's say, a fort. Get tied up for a while. And I'll be able to act with a little bit more impunity. For example, I'd love to leave Tyrol and go for one of these other forts. I just feel like that's risky. I mean, I could make a move on Ravensburg's capital... These are the mountains. I don't need more than two armies here to reinforce. I mean, having these guys here so I could have um, the army in Lienz and Tyrol reinforce Salzburg is not that helpful simply because the combat width is so small. Which actually is one of the reasons they have a huge advantage over me. Because uh, I may have some numbers, I may have defensive terrain, but I can't use most of those numbers and they have an amazing general. Somewhere. I don't know where he went. It's wandering around somewhere. Whose general was it? Maybe I should knock out whichever country had the amazing general. Alright, Kandar. How you doing? Give me these. Get out of here. Wait, that's not what I had claims on. This is what I had claims on. I'm gonna full annex you. Actually, do I, do I want to do that? It's a bit of aggressive expansion. Oh, screw it. Let's just take them. <laughs> we can take them. Sure. Bye, Kandar. Thank you. Core, 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 core. Alright. That knocks them out. Let's get these armies together. We're gonna go to Dalmatia. If, uh, they should be protected behind a fort. They shouldn't be able to move past this. It's a level 4 fort. Which is not quite strong enough, but oh well. And if I need to, I can use my uh, transports to move them out. So, Okay. Alright, uh, let's move on. Yeah, we're moving on Ravensburg's capital. It's uh, dangerous to split these armies up as much as we are, but they're not too far away. And like I said, as long as we're in mountains, we can't have much combat width. These are woods. 
I would love to knock out Salzburg and Ravensburg. If I can get rid of two major contributors to this war, that will make things a lot easier. I wanted to focus down Austria, but it does not look like that's going to be an option for us. Munster is a big problem. Who else is in the war? Danzig. Right. They're not as concerning to me. And they'll be a lot harder to siege down, but at least I can take down um, the two enemies that are on my borders. Of which a lot of these Salzburg troops and Ravensburg troops are right here. That's 28,000 troops right now that would be removed from the war if I can knock out Ravensburg and Salzburg. So we're going to try for that. There's Munster. They have... Okay. So they have a 2331 general here. Where's the super general? That's the one. That Ravensburg general right there, a 5421. He scares me. A lot. So knocking out Ravensburg is going to be a huge priority in this war. We can win this. The numbers, especially the cannons and such, are in our favor. We can win. It just is going to be really hard. <laughs> we can do it, though. We can do it. The fight against the Papal State was nothing compared to this. Good. Supply shortage. Good, good, good. They are getting close to taking this fort, but that's fine. I'll always be able to siege it back. As long as I hold these mountains and they can't move forward, we're okay. Venezia is no longer our capital. If they want to go for our capital to get war score, they have to go through several more forts. So I'm not really in any threat there. That's good. Unfortunately, these are all landlocked nations, so I can't even blockade any of them. It was a little frustrating, I admit. I'm going to go ahead and get the transports over to Dalmatia, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need them there instead. <laughs> oh, these Alps. They are either going to be my saving grace or my death. I don't know which. Was really hoping to get lucky there. Did not get lucky. <laughs> okay, okay. We have some money. If I had to merc up, I can. That is a lot of troops, though. Austria has a surprising amount. It's a lot of infantry, it looks like. Not even very many cannons. Look at this. Salzburg and Ravensburg are getting bigger and scarier. Jeez. I may have bitten off a little bit more than I should chew. I'll get indigestion for this, but... I don't care. Go to Ferrara. Drop off the troops. Get them together. Augsburg, Salzburg, blah blah blah. Augsburg lost a province. Go back, pick up the one infantry that got left behind. He's probably shaking in his boots thinking, Oh my god, please don't forget me. They will insta-kill me. And you're correct, they would. There we go. Uh, these Tunisians are a major problem, actually. Oh, crap. They're gonna fire, like, now. Shoot, we need to get an army down here. I just got these guys here, but I don't think we can afford to wait. We need to get them back. Shoot. Was not expecting their, uh, years- their, um, recent uprising to expire when it did. Uh, they're about to fire right now, just watch. And February 1st? No, we actually got lucky. Cool, that gives me a month to respond. 28% chance. What are the odds? Not good, but we'll try. Hey! We got it! Nice! What are the odds I can get this fort as well? Not good. The question now is, do I try to piece out Ravensburg? They would not even accept. They're getting close, though. If I can get this other fort, they probably would. Let's start sieging down this fort, and that might put some pressure on them. The race is now on. Can I get this fort? We are taking a ridiculous amount of attrition at this place. There's Tunis. Oh my gosh! We landed at just the right place. Granted, that's a lot of numbers, and we have no leader, and they have a really good general. But... Ah, wow, that is a huge, well-balanced army, actually. That's not good. Freaking rebels. Bengal and Iraq were fighting? Interesting. Roll better. There's a 9 against a 9. Ah. We do have a tech advantage, and that's kind of what's holding me together right now. 
Oh no, don't lose. Please don't lose. Why do they have such good generals and I can't get anything? So stupid. Morale of armies. Or discipline guy. Discipline guy is cheaper. Discipline is good. Why are they starting to look more like they're from Morocco? You guys understand that I'm Italian, right? Oh shoot. We're gonna lose. Oh, there's a 7 to a 5. It's close. Oh shoot, we lose. God damn it! Alright. Well, we still have Ravensburg on the ropes. Here's hoping. Yeah, that was just a really bad timing for them to fire. And we did not expect them to be that big. And have that good of a general. Alright, Ravensburg. You would white peace. Can take some money from you. Can I take war reps? No. Annul your treaties? No. You're allied to France? I'm just going to take your money and I'm going to peace you out. I don't think it is worth keeping them in here. That's way too many troops that are a threat to me. Goodbye, Ravensburg. Thank you. And of course, Milan died right then. Of course they did. Why wouldn't they? Back up to the mountains. Reinforce in my territory, please. That's good. And there's the Tunisians doing their thing. Freaking hell. Alright. Uh, we need to roll for another general. Please, 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 please. Okay, 225. Not very good. 2-2 two, two is just not acceptable. It really is not. Alright, but we did manage to knock out Ravensburg. That was a major contributor in this war. If we can get Salzburg's capital, I feel like we'll be in pretty decent shape. Alright, our armies are defended in the mountains. I'm going to go ahead and put this leader in charge here. Where are you going? You, you're not going to engage me here, are you? No, you're marching up into Ravensburg. I don't know what you're doing. Are you trying to go after my vassal? Because they are sieging down a fort in the farmlands. That's probably what they're doing. Which is, um, debatably not the best strategy I've ever seen. Vassal. Should tell them to be more supportive. Subjects. Support me, please. I don't think that's going to be enough to make them change their mind. No, they're splitting up, of course. Why not? Idiots. All right. Salzburg. I can actually try to take some stuff from you. Give me your war reps. Annul your treaties. It's more important, actually, that I make you annul your treaties with France. Because I cannot have France holding on to these allies. Too much. Too much. Too much. Can't afford anything else. And I really don't want to fight 21,000 more troops. Is it worth holding on to try and get more out of Salzburg, or is it worth just piecing them out? I think it's worth just piecing them out. The main goal was to try and get them to stop being allies to France, right? So, we did that. We couldn't do it with Ravensburg. But we can do it here. Let's siege back down Milan. Move up to Tyrol. And now our vassals won't get squished, so that's another 20-some thousand troops that we actually can take advantage of later. Okay. Okay. These guys are going to have to recover, because they're a bunch of morons. Got themselves killed. Like dummies. I have no sympathy for them. Zero. That's still a lot of troops for Austria, but... The war is now looking a lot better for me. And I have the cannon advantage. And we're on par with tech. Do I make a run on Munster's capital? Yes, I probably do. Again, I think these two armies defending the mountains are enough to fight these guys off, or at least it's the best I'm going to be able to do. How about you guys try to take back Milan? You guys have to go all the way up to Danzig? Fine. March 23 stack up to Danzig. And we'll see if that's enough. Okay, well, that's going to have to do it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. If so, then hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.